Filipino Flash showcased his speed and power early in a fight that wouldn't make it out of the second round. Good right hand and a left drops Montiel! And Russell Moore is gonna let it continue. Now he stops it. Donito Donaire with a counter left after absorbing a right. He's on top of the world tonight. February 2012. Following a win over Omar Narvaez, Donaire moved up to 122 pounds and faced off with Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. for a vacant belt. After a patient start, Donaire found an opening in round three. And he rips Vasquez with a left hook lead. Can he finish him now? And it just shows how much power that he has for a small fighter. Vasquez gets out of the corner and kind of grins as if that's a victory. An overly cautious Vasquez finally began engaging in the middle rounds. Hard right hand by Vasquez, his best punch of the fight. He's won Vasquez to come and give him more opportunities to counter punch. Hard left hook by Donaire momentarily wobbled Vasquez. With Vasquez taking a more aggressive approach, Donaire perfected his timing in round nine. What a couple of punches. Tremendous uppercut and the left hook to put him down. There we saw some signs of that quick-handed power. Battling through a ruptured vein in his left hand, Donaire claimed a split decision victory, winning a Super Bantamweight title. July 2012, 122-pound unification bout with Jeffrey Matabula. The South African stood four and a half inches taller than Donaire, and the Filipino Flash tried to neutralize that advantage quickly. Well, when Donaire closes the gap, he negates the height advantage for Matabula. And that's what Donico has to do, just get close to him and put those big punches on him and try to get him out as quick as he can. Matabula was willing to trade inside with Donaire, but left himself open at the end of round four. Go, left hand, drops Matabula. First down in his career. He's been down on the canvas, a left hand near the end of round four. Bouncing back from the knockdown, Matabula kept up an active work rate, but Donaire continued to land the bigger shots, wearing his opponent down in the championship rounds. See what happens when he uses this jab. Sets up the right hand there. He hurt Matabula with that right hand, I guarantee. That's why Matabula is not punching now. He looks like he broke his jaw, Roy, the way he's hanging open. Fighting through a broken jaw, Matabula lasted all 12 rounds, but Donaire claimed a unanimous decision victory. October 2012, Japanese veteran Toshiaki Nishioka put his 16-fight win streak on the line to challenge Donaire. As in most recent fights, Donaire's opponent was cautious early. And Nishioka so far seems intimidated by Donaire's power. Donaire right here is landing some good body shots, as you see, landing a good straight right to the head every now and then, and that's all he can get. So just take what you can get until the store opens up. By round six, Nishioka finally began opening up, and Donaire capitalized. See that left uppercut right there? That's the shot because he's holding that right hand up. Oh, Nishioka down. Short shot inside. Right hand over the top, straight right hand. Nishioka says, bring it on. Left hand from Donaire. As Nishioka chose to engage, it became apparent he couldn't compete with the power of Donaire. There they go, opening up power shots. Left hand to the body by Donaire, scores. Nishioka steps in with a combination. Oh, down goes Nishioka from a counter shot. Now the referee steps in and stops it. Nishioka's corners jumped in to protect him. Any time he chose to truly fight back, he got dropped. December 2012. Donaire's fourth fight of the calendar year saw him squaring off with Jorge Arce. The Mexican veteran had built his career on entertaining action fights, and Donaire was happy to engage in round two. The left hook upstairs, and there goes Arce to the canvas on a quick, short, straight right hand. The aggression of Arce played right into Donaire's hand bringing the night to an end in round three. And here's Donaire looking for the knockout, and Arce's down again. Second knockdown of the fight for Nonito Donaire, and Jorge Arce is rubbing a glove against his left eye. Good right hand by Donaire, and another left uppercut. And down goes Arce on a brilliant left hook, and that just might be that, and it is. He has one of the best left hooks in the business today. When he hits him with that, it's usually lights out. Nonito Donaire with his fourth win of 2012. 